guys, um, today I'm going to show you how to draw a green tree python. It's not colored green tree python, um, but I guess I'll do a video on if you want it. I don't know if you want it on how I'm going to color my green tree python, but this video is just going to how to draw a green tree python. So you get some paper, a pencil, and make sure the pencil is an eraser, and if it doesn't, grab a separate eraser. Okay. To start with your green tree python, you draw a line a little bit more than center of the screen. So you just like right, just that perfect point. See there, and then about to the middle, a little less than middle, like that. It's kind of hard to see the pencil, I guess. And then you do a loop down. Oh, okay, this is hard to do because I'm looking on the camera. So, um, yeah, and make sure if you mess up a race, and then you're just going to draw another line to finish that off. So it's like a line and a loop, a curvy loop. Like that. I can kind of see the other parts better, so I might, um, Line it a little bit better. So, everybody can see. But for you, I draw light until you get right. That's the thing you do. Okay, and then you're going to draw another line just under that, and another line to make your branch of your green tree python. Now, depending on how, how long you want your green tree python, is how many lines in the middle of you want. So, that's... Um, but you always want it to be pairs of two, two, four, six. Um, you could do just two, but... Um, Actually, well, actually, you don't need it. I'm going to do three lines, and that's going to be just fine for what we're doing. So it's going to work. You don't need it in pairs. Um, just like that. Perfect. Uh, I'm going to actually erase some of these lines a little lower. Because um, it's, it's working on. So we might want to erase those lines a little bit lower if you're messing up like me. And then we're going to draw... Semi-spheres semi over there, and one here, and as many loops as you have, but on both sides, just like that. And guys, feel free to pause the video anytime if you're a little bit below, like behind. Okay, and then we're going to draw a line directly across here. And that's going to be part of our branch. You can add two or one, depending on how big that gap is right there. If it's about, uh, if it's um, larger than this, the shape of your branch, then you're going to want to add two lines. So it looks like the branch is just whoosh, still under that snake. And then we're going to draw an oval shape, kind of. So we're going to draw a little hemisphere. And then our oval shape. It can kind of go on the snake's body, and that's okay. Like that. And then you erase whatever is inside of it. Get rid of that. Then you can add the tongue now, or when you have colored pencil, whatever. But when you are drawing the tongue, it's just, uh, it can be a curved tongue like this, like that, or a straight tongue, however you want your tongue. After adding the tongue, I'm just going to, there's a little bit of branch inside my snake's head. Now after that, you can add a tail. Now it can be a curved tail or a straight tail, so you can do it like a straight tail like that. Or, and I like the curvy tails better, but whichever you like better, you can do. So if I were to do a curved tail... It would be a curvy line, curvy line, and just meet up those two ends to be the tip of 
your sneak. Just like that. And now you can add facial features. And for facial features, I'm just going to draw two circles and add lines in them. These snakes are nocturnal. <laughs> Super goofy. These snakes are nocturnal, so they will have slits, slit eyes. I'm not drawing eyes very well today, am I? So they will have slit eyes. If you don't like the look of slit eyes, it's okay. You don't have to have them. That's just what the real Ranger Python has. And then for a nose, they do have pits. Um, so you could just draw their reg a regular two little lines. Or like a real snake, they have these little pits all around. But I personally don't like the look of that. It's, it's kind of hard to see like that. But I personally don't like the look of that. So you can add pits or or better pits or whatever you want to do. So your snake gets your snake. Um, now the background can range a lot of different ways for your background. For your background, you could add lines after lines after lines. And create some trees. Because that's where Snake would live. In trees. So lines that could become the tree background. So like tree, tree. Or you can add a rock detail. Just kind of just like some squiggly lines. It's really up to you. Rock detail. You could of course add a waterfall feature into it, so not the best at drawing these, but you kind of would get the idea. A waterfall feature there. Or you can decide to use all three of them and create a very cool background. Now I'm going to skip and I'm going to show you me using all three of the, those ideas to create a cool picture. Okay, as you can see here, I used a few different techniques to create the background. I have my trees up in the background, and then over here I have a waterfall with rocks surrounding it. You can just choose one or decide to do all three or just two. Whatever design you think fits best for the background. Whoa, camera moved. Or, if you'd like no background and just an open sky, you can put that, or just leave it white. It's whatever you want. It's, it's your choice, so you can choose. Now, what I like to do is I like to add animals. So, the way I'm going to add, like, a squirrel or something is quite easy. I'm going to draw an oval on a tree. It's way too big. A small oval on a tree, just simple, and then a little head, and then I'm going to add little ears, cute, it's like a squirrel or a chipmunk, and a long, curvy, bushy tail, and then I'm going to add little arms coming off like it's scurrying up a tree just to add a little bit more detail into it. And of course, you could add lines down the back of it. Just to make it a little bit more interesting. Or whatever you think. As many animals as you want. Or you could draw a little bug even. Draw a little bug here. Just a little spider, I think. Head. Just like that. Um, whatever you want, whatever animals you want. Um, and you can even add texture to the trees. So like a knot in it. The tree, a few creases and lines. To really change the tree to look 
cooler and do that with all the trees, add little knots and stuff to really make that tree look alive and tree and just add texture. And if you can't, if you can't see the little texture I have on my rocks, it's it's there. So add texture however you want. Um, and that's how I draw a green tree python. And if I don't make a video on how I'm coloring this, more yellow means younger. And red, yellow and red are two colors for younger snakes. And uh, it's rare to have a blue snake, a blue, bluish green, green tree python, but it can be. Um, and then like those are like the more adult colors. So the more lines you have for your snake, the longer the snake, and yeah, that's how I draw a green tree python, so bye from Sassy Snake.